brickwork. Okay, as you can see here, okay, we're actually going to be covering a piece of plasterboard. So, what we have to do on plasterboard, okay, which you don't have to do on concrete blocks, is give it a scratch coat. Now, all we've done to give this a scratch coat is that we've put our bonding adhesive on there, okay? We've actually mixed a bit of stuff up, we've laid it over the top, very, very thin, perhaps a couple of millimetres, and we've run a comb through it, okay, just to give us a, a scratch coat. The scratch coat is just something that's going to give us a key for our next... Uh, next layer to go on and as I've said right the only thing you need to do this on you need to do it on plasterboards or if you're going over ceramic tiles anything that hasn't got anything that's got a very very smooth surface to it like this piece of wood right we would do the same on there okay you need to give it a scratch coat once we've got our scratch coat on we're now going to give it another coat of our bonding adhesive this can be done with a roller or a brush just going to cover the whole surface Just need a thin layer of it that's all, you don't want to go mad with it. Once we've got this on, we're going to wait a couple of minutes, okay? Like we say in the tube, we're going to let it pick up a little bit, okay? And you feel it starting to go very, very tacky. Okay, it's been just a couple of minutes now, right, okay? And if you see, this is going very, very, very tacky. So the next thing we do now, okay, we're going to put on what we call a tight coat. So I'm going to get some of the stuff in next earlier on. Put on, put on my trowel, okay? And we're just going to put a very tight coat on it. Straight up like this. As I said earlier on, art creed isn't like ordinary cement, it just doesn't fall off the wall. And a little demonstration for you is that once we've got our tight coat on there, you can get a big tile on your trowel and stick it to the wall and it just stays there for you. So uh, that's got to be two inches thick and we can actually come out thicker than that as well. One of the good things about this is you do not need to be a plaster to do it. I'm just going to take that off because we're not going to be using that thickness. Even pick it up in your hand and throw it against the wall and it'll just stick for you. So you really don't need to be a plasterer, you stay on the wall for you, which makes life a lot easier for you at the end of the day. Once we got a work layer over the wall that's gonna that's about three four mil okay what we need to do to this now okay to give us our brick color is that we're gonna put some coloring in with the mix so what I've done I've gone back to the mix with mix earlier on just put a little bit into the bucket okay and what we're actually gonna do okay we're gonna use a cream color this is just ordinary cement cement colored powder right and we're gonna mix this through the mix and then we're gonna lay that on top as well so it's gonna take us just a couple of minutes to mix this up it's only going to require one small little mix, okay? We're just going to put a little bit in. But if you were doing a big area, you would want to be gauging the amount you're putting in. So you're going to get an even colour all over your wall. But just for this, the demonstration purposes here, we're just going to tip a little bit in to get a nice rich colour for ourselves. This is the consistency you need to end up with. It needs to be quite, quite a thin consistency. Now all we're going to do is lay this directly over the top of it. The thicker that we lay this on, as you'll see, 
when we cut in the brickwork out, the thicker you have to cut through to reach this colour. So, but we're only going to lay this on a couple of millimetres, which I think is, is sufficient. Doesn't matter if you have little grey shades coming through it, just gives a little bit more character to the brickwork. But you, you want to try and lay this on pretty level over the wall. Okay, once we got it to this stage now, okay, what we need to do now is we're going we're gonna to put a little texture all over it. Now the, you can either go out and buy a little texture roller like this, okay, they're not expensive, four or five pounds, or you can get yourself a dirty old roller like we've got here, okay? One that's probably found in a garage or somewhere ready to have not washed, <laughs> like we all do, okay? And use something like that, okay? I'm gonna use the dirty one, okay? I'm not gonna use that one. And all we're gonna do, we're gonna run it straight over the top, just to give us a brick texture. That's giving us our texture, okay? Now you can either leave the wall like that, okay? Or you can get yourself a little piece of wire. What I've actually got here is a little coat, it was a coat hanger at one time that I've cut up, okay? I've just bent it into a, let's say, a smiley face, okay? And I'm just going to touch it all over the wall, here and there, okay? Just touch it. And this is going to give us when we cut it out tomorrow, okay? Some little wire cuts to the bricks. You can see my finger in there like that, okay? I'm not really worried about it because in a couple of seconds time, I get my roller again, where my fingers have touched it, I just push it back in. Okay, so I'm really not worried about any little marks because the roller will put them all back in nice and tight before me. No, I'm only pushing, I'm not putting no pressure on this, just leaving the weight of the roller for a textured surface on from here. That's all you can do to the wall today. Tomorrow then we're going to cut it into brickwork.